Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in a previous video, I show you how to prove Hero's formula for the area of a triangle. Uh, in fact, I show you how to prove all three formulas for the area of a triangle. Uh, the traditional one-half base times height formula, the RS formula, and Hero's formula, as I already mentioned. Now, uh, what's special about Hero's formula is that it does not require that we know the value of the height or the altitude of the triangle. All we need are the three sides of the triangle, and if we have that, if we have the measure of the three sides of a triangle, then we can use Hero's formula to find the area of the triangle. So now, since Hero's formula does not require that we know the height of a triangle, what we can do is we can use Hero's formula in tandem with the traditional one-half base times height formula to solve for a missing height of a triangle given all three sides of the triangle. Yeah? Here's what I mean. We're going to use Hero's formula to figure out what H is here because, well, since we have the value of all three sides of the triangle here, we can use Hero's formula to find the area. And remember, Hero's formula for the area of a triangle says that the area of the triangle is equal to the square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c, where a, b, and c are the measure of the three sides, color-coded for you, a here, b here, and c here. And s is the semi-perimeter. And as the name says, uh, S is half of the perimeter. So in practice, what you do to find S is you add A, B, and C, the lengths of the three sides of uh, the triangle, and then you divide them by two. And so the semi-perimeter, half of the perimeter, that's S. Yeah? Okay, okay, okay. Um, now, so uh, we see that here S is going to be 4 plus 7 plus 5 divided by 2. That's 16 divided by 2. That's 8. So we have everything we need to plug into Hero's formula. We have S, we have A, B, and C. And so let's plug into Hero's formula and figure out the area of our triangle. So first we'd write this, right? Uh, and then we'd simplify, which is this. But yeah, from here, it's clear that we could simplify it to uh, this, right? And so now we know that the area of our triangle is... 4 root 6. But as I said, we also know using the traditional area formula for the area of a triangle that the area of this triangle is 1 half the base times the height, where here this B is in reference to base. And since the altitude or the height is drawn so that it's perpendicular to the base, this here is uh, the B in our case, right? Okay, cool. And it was the B by accident in uh, the hero's formula, B anyway. Uh, but okay, okay, okay. So so we know what this is. We know what this is. So the only unknown is H. And so we can solve for H. So let's do that. Um, so there, uh, from our earlier calculation, we know that the area of the triangle is 4 root 6. So that's all I've highlighted there. And otherwise, I know that our base here is 7. So I've um, put... Um, place of base 7 and so then obviously here we have 7 over 2h and so if we multiply both sides by 2 over 7 then we'd get this which is we'd be able to isolate h and a little bit of simplifying is all that remains in order for us to say we're done here yeah cool so in addition to using hero's formula to find the area of uh, the triangle as long as you have the measure of the three sides you could also use hero's formula to find the height or the altitude uh, in a triangle as long as you have the measure of the three sides of course and remember a triangle has three altitudes right like so this one is drawn to this base but you could draw an altitude here. I think it would be an internal altitude here. And um, you could also draw uh, another altitude, a third altitude. And that's from A. And you might have to extend uh, this side here. And this third altitude might have to be an external altitude. But yeah, every triangle has three altitudes. That's the point. Um, okay, cool. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, yeah, keep watching. Take care.